What's going on guys, this is Jake and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up upsells inside of your Shopify store and using upsells is one of the best ways that you can increase your average order value which in turn will increase your overall revenue on your store. So it's definitely something that's really important to set up. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at how you can do that step by step. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the computer and get started with the tutorial. All right, guys. So in order to set up upsells on our store, we're going to be using an app called Aftersell Post Purchase Upsell. And you can check out Aftersell by clicking the first link in the description down below. And we can see this is a pretty popular app with 587 reviews, 4.9 star rating. So this is going to be a good app for us to go ahead and use to set up our upsells. So once you go ahead and open up Aftersell in the App Store, you're just going to need to add it to your store right here, which we can see I've already done. So once you go ahead and add it to your store, we can jump over inside of the store here. And this is what it's going to look like once you install the app inside of the dashboard. So this app's actually really easy to use and we're going to be able to set up our upsells here in just a couple of minutes. So the first thing we need to do before we actually set up the upsell is we just need to enable this setting really quick. So we're going to click on enable setting and it's going to open up our admin settings here in another tab. And all we have to do here is on post purchase page we just need to select after sell post purchase and click on save. And then we can close this out come back over here and then we can click check if enabled and we can see that we are now good to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on funnels here and i'm going to click on add a new funnel you can give this funnel a name so you can name it whatever you want customers aren't going to see this so this is just for your tracking purposes only and then we can choose to use a template or start from scratch. We can see here that they have a template that's been tested with merchants inside of your industry here that you can go ahead and use, or you can create your own from scratch. We're going to be creating our own from scratch in this video, but if you want to check out the automated one, you can click on view details right here. But I'm going to click on start from scratch and then click on save and continue. So the first thing we have to do is choose the triggers that are going to set off our funnel inside of our store for customers. So there's a lot of different options right here that you can go through, but some of the most common ones are going to be show all or enabling via a specific product or a specific collection. So what this essentially means is if we selected show all, then this funnel that we're creating right here, this upsell funnel is going to show to every single customer that goes through our checkout process no matter what or we can also choose to make this funnel only show up in specific scenarios so we could choose to make it show up only with specific products specific collections specific order values specific quantities etc so in this case i'm going to go ahead and do it via a specific product so i'm going to go ahead and select the product here so we can have so we see we have some product here i'm going to choose to have this funnel activate whenever somebody is buying the skin cleanser product right here so now that we've selected the product i'm going to click on save and next up here and now we can take a look at the actual upsells that are going to be shown so these upsells are going to show after the checkout process has already been completed and customers are going to be able to accept these upsells and check out just by clicking a single button since their payment information and everything has already been entered when they checked out initially. So we have the first upsell right here. So we're gonna, gonna go ahead and choose a single product here in this case, and I'll choose a specific product. We can see we can choose through different options. We could choose multiple products. We could show a collection, etc. But in this case, I'll choose a specific product and since this is going to be showing to anyone that bought the cleanser, I will go ahead and upsell the toner product. So I'll click on save. And then down here, we can show the, another upsell. So this is going to be if this first offer is accepted, then they will see this product. And then if this first offer is declined, then they will see this offer. So I'll go ahead and add in another single product for specific. And I'll add in the moisturizer this time. And in this case, what I'll do is I'll actually make the upsell and downsell the same since this store only has three products, but you can choose to 
test out different products for the down sell if you want so once we set this up there are a couple other things that we can do so if i actually click on edit offer right here we can see that we can actually look at our offer page so this is what's going to show up post purchase so after someone checks out this is what they're going to see right here so we can go ahead and edit this by clicking on any of these editors over here and you can see if I add in different text, we can see that it's going to edit it right here. And we can see we have the first name auto fill in right here based on the customer information. See that there's a timer here by default. You can choose to make the timer shorter or longer if you want. And you can change your timer background color to different colors if you want here as well. And you can click on save to save any of these changes. We can see the upsell product shows here. And there's also additional widgets down here. So if you want to add more things. So let's say we wanted to add an image. We could go ahead and add that in here at the bottom. And if we decide we don't want the image. We can just go ahead and delete it. So the upsell does look pretty clean right out of the box. So you don't really have to customize anything if you don't want. But if you do want to customize it. The options are here. And there are some additional guides here that will show you in a little bit more detail how you can use these particular widgets. But they are pretty easy to use. It's pretty much just like editing your Shopify store itself. You're just clicking on here, going through the different options in here, and editing it. So that's how you can actually edit the offers in here. So if we go back now, once again, we can also create a B test. So if I were to open this up. We could create a A-B test here, which could be either a duplicate offer or a new one. So in this case, I'll click on new offer, single product, specific. And let's say this A-B test is going to test out upselling the entire bundle versus just one of these particular products. And I click on save. So now what it's going to do is it's going to test out this product is part of the upsell and this product is part of the upsell as well and it's going to test them out evenly so both are going to be showed evenly to customers in checkout and you'll be able to see which one of these upsell products is actually performing better so if i were to click on start a b test we can see that now this one is active and we can click on a b test analytics and you'll be able to see the different metrics here in terms of conversions and revenue generated from these particular upsells so that's definitely something worth split testing if you have different products that you want to try out for your upsells so once we've went ahead and set up our actual upsells we can click on save and next and now we can take a look at the thank you page so this is going to show after the customer has checked out and after they have went through the upsells that we've set up so i'll click on edit page right here and we can see that this is going to be the default thank you page inside of Shopify. And if we click on these different areas, we can choose what we want to edit. So we have the left area, which is here. We have the right area, and then we have pop-ups. So if we click on the left area here, we can see that these two sections cannot be edited. But we can add widgets in here if we want. So if you wanted to add, let's say, a product recommendation we can see that it would show up right down here below your thank you page. Now, in this case, if you were going to do that, it would probably be better to put that on the right side just because people have to actually scroll down to see this. So if I were to remove that and we came over here to the right side and we click on add widget and then I add the product recommendation over here, we can see that looks a little bit better because the customer can actually see the product recommendation right here without actually having to scroll down and then we can choose the products we want to show so or we can choose a collection so in this case i'll just choose a collection i'll just choose my home page collection right here and then you can give them a percentage discount if you want so let's say maybe 15 percent you can choose whether or not it will be free shipping and then you can change this to 15% which will match the discount that we chose right here and you can once again choose to set a timer if you want and you can change the sale price color to match the color of your store if you want same with the background color of your button so depending on the color of the buttons you have in your store 
you're going to want to just put that hex code in right here to make sure that all of your branding is congruent and makes sense. So we can click on save here and you can see that there are other widget options that you could add in as well. You could add in reviews, FAQs, and standard image and videos. So let's say maybe you wanted to add in a video and maybe this is a video like a personal thank you video or something like that of you or someone within your company welcoming the customer into your brand, etc. Something like that to add a little bit of personalization. If you want to do that on the thank you page, you can do that right here. So there's a lot of options for thank you page customization to either increase branding or try to increase revenue by showing more products. In this case, I'll just remove that. And then we have pop-ups here. So if you want to add a store-wide pop-up discount, you can do that. So we can see that this is going to show up right here. So for the next 20 minutes, we'll offer you an additional 25% off future orders. They can choose whether they want to accept or decline this particular offer. So this is another widget you can choose to use if you want. In this case, I will just keep the thank you page and everything looking like this, and we will go ahead and back out. So now that we're backed out, all we have to do is click enable on publish funnel right here and then click on save and finish and we've went ahead and created this funnel so now i'm going to go ahead and run through what this funnel would look like from the buyer's perspective and we'll add this product to cart to go ahead and trigger the funnel so i'll fill in this information and we'll see what it looks like after checkout so as we'll see here as soon as we enter this information and click on pay now we're going to be shown the upsell that we just created because we bought the trigger product, which is the cleanser. So we can choose to either accept or decline this offer. So in this case, if we were to just click pay now in one click, this product would automatically be purchased. They wouldn't have to add the cart or anything like that. And then right here, we would now be shown the second upsell that we created earlier. And with one click, we could choose to either get it or decline it. And then once we click on that, we will now be shown the customized thank you page that we just created right here. So we can see we see our product showing up here. And if we click on show more, we can see the collection that we featured showing up right here on this customized thank you page. So it's really simple and easy to set up these upsells and it's definitely going to help increase your average order value and overall revenue on your store. And what you can go ahead and do as well, once you have some funnels up and running, is you can come over here to analytics and you'll be able to take a look at how your upsells are actually performing. So we can see here we have upsell one, upsell two, downsell, and the thank you page. So we can see right here that we just triggered upsell one. So we can see that upsell one has generated us $13 or $12.99 right here. And you can choose whether or not you want to get rid of certain ones so if you just wanted to see how upsell one was performing you can just keep that toggled on right there you'll be able to see your total revenue the impressions so the amount of people that have seen it and then how many people have actually accepted offers you can see our sales breakdown as well as our average order value and everything down here and we can see which one of our funnels are performing the best and then we can see which one of our products are performing the best so it'd be good to check your analytics pretty regularly just to see what's performing the best so that you can keep coming in here and optimizing your funnels to make sure that you're maximizing your conversion rate so that said that's how you can set up upsells inside of your shopify store it's really simple and easy to do be sure to check out after sell to set these up by clicking the first link in the description down below and with that said Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.